Would you like to tell us exactly what it is you've got here? Yeah, this is the Wagga Technicals uh, Gummy Mobile. Yeah, it's, as you can see, yeah, it's taken a long time to build for Mr Anthony and all the other people who have been in it to help make it. And we think it goes good. We've just had to put some minor parts to it and it should go good tomorrow. How many on it? Yeah, there's only going to be three of us tomorrow, two riding and one relief. So when one tires out, the other person gets on, the other person stands on the side and when they're steering to go around the corner, the person will lean to the side which will help drag the raft around the corner. But what happens if you get a blowout? Oh well, we just hope for the best. The main things people we wish to make clear to the people is that life jackets must be worn by all people on the craft and that it is $2 uh, per adult entry fee and it is $1 per child. Uh, the maximum crew for each craft is six people and if any craft has more than that they will not be allowed to enter the race and any child who is under the age of 12 must be accompanied by an adult. They are the main rules that we want people to follow for tomorrow. Do you expect the events to run on time? Yes, our first event will be on time at 11.30 and each quarter of an hour after that and we think that everything will go smoothly now that the weather's turned fine for us, we hope. Meantime, around 600 fearless boaties boarded many slightly dubious gummies for races down the Murrumbidgee River. The nine kilometre course gave competitors the chance to try and bomb the opposition out of the water or just put paddle power to work. Organisers say numbers were down this year, but it once again proved the highlight of the Wagga Festival. Andrea Johnson, Win News. Many believe it was the city's best parade ever. The perfect summer evening brought out the crowds and the open top cars. The newly crowned festival king and queen were shown off. Many new floats created special interest. The Aboriginal community and Mount Austin Primary School dedicated their float to the Year of Indigenous People. Shortly before the parade, the cream of the region's cyclists battled it out in the festival criterium. A sharp corner at the rear of the council chambers claimed at least one casualty. Wagga teenager Michael Hardy shot to the lead near the end of the race and hung on for an impressive victory. Thousands of people took advantage of a free festival breakfast at Wagga Beach on the banks of the Murrumbidgee River this morning. The bacon started sizzling at 7am and organisers say by 9 o'clock more than 150 dozen eggs had been devoured. And it's all hands on deck down at the river again tomorrow for the famous Gumi races. Promotion officer Julie Carswell says gummies made from rubber tyre tubes can be entered tomorrow morning. Well, so hopefully they do all float. Um, probably if you're a bit unsure if your craft isn't going to float or not, take it you know, out to the lake and, or down to the river and just have a test to make sure that you don't sort of put in on the day and so you'll see you later, <laughs> it sings. And if you have any energy left after all that, there's plenty of other festival activities happening throughout the weekend. Andrea Johnson, Win News.